Right then, another video sat on my computer. So, when we took the canopy off, they got a truckman on the Amarok. I never liked it because you could never get anything in there and get in and strap it up and it was never going to work for racing. So I started looking about on Google and come across these from New Zealand, Ute Master. So they do a lot of stuff. These are quite nice, these are hard lid, but not going to work for what we need. So I saw these Centurion canopies. So they do them for Ranger Hilux, Navara, D-Max, Triton, which is like an L200 over here, VT50, I don't think we get them. But then Amarok, yeah. So this is the one. So I saw these pictures, not a big fan of that roof rack, but that's the one that just fits onto the truck. I can't remember which, yeah, I think I'd seen this picture, this video. It looked good. Yeah, it's not. A, stop it so this was the main selling point for me the side opening <coughs> because we're going to be when we're going racing we're wanting to put like a pallet of stuff in there or just throw a load of stuff in and be able to get to it without having to take everything out so i just went onto the contact form messaged them just said we're interested blah de blah but they're in new zealand we're in england i don't think we could be much further away if we tried just got a generic response back really saying no we, we don't ship abroad but then um, the owner of the company tony said he'd been watching our video so hello tony and uh, he said he'd be willing to try and work out some way again it over to us had not done it before so then we've been speaking to the guys over at gig and they said 3m were wanting to release some new wrap and what have you and we'd get a decent price on a full wrap on the trailer um, the Amarok and what have you, so like, we need to get this here quick really because we'll incorporate it in the theme. So we had, we've rushed it through and got it air freighted here and it should be uh, very, very soon. Um, but I think the wrap's been delayed anyway, so we probably didn't need to rush it through as much as we have, so apologies for stressing that out. So whether we tune Tony's Amarok Remotely, I'm not too sure. I'd love to. It'd be nice to do a swap parts for this, but we'll see. But when it arrives, we'll get it unpacked, have a look at it, and hopefully get it fitted pretty soon. So we've got it unpacked, not too bad. A little bit confused as to where the roof rack is because that should bolt on here. And I'd have thought it were inside in pieces. Maybe I'm mistaken, it's a two piece shipment, but it doesn't say that anywhere. So we'll figure that out later, not a big deal. But yeah, really nice canopy. You master. It looks absolutely perfect. Exactly what we wanted and it all opens up, you've got like hardly any interference to your load in here, which is good. So we've got a couple little bits of touching up to do on the truck itself first, because where the old canopy was, it was rubbing a little bit. So we'll get that sorted and then we'll get this uh, fitted up and see what it looks like. While Rob's unpacking all these little bits, these are not for our truck, um, or at least the bumpers are not. But we're, uh, we've got some arches in here, so we'll grab a set. So we've got a set for the two and the three litres. And this is not our truck either, this is Tony's truck. There we are. See, 
this is the difference in the two and the three litre one. Can you just grab that, Danny? Pull. Pull, pull, pull. So if you come and look round this side, what a beautiful day, and it'll be snowing at weekend. So here. This is the difference in the two and the three litre kits. The three litres, it's locked. They've got the ad blue, which has got a longer opening. So there's not many companies doing the three litre ones, but I think they look pretty good. Obviously not with the standard wheels. But we'll, uh, we'll run over to ours and see what they look like compared. It's over here, it's a bit of a walk away. That gets it weird, doesn't it? You can't have mud guard. Oh, you've got to put it behind mud guard. It's going to lose all wideness at wheels, isn't it, with them? I think it'll look better with them. We'll get them fitted on then. So, we've finally got it unpacked. So, these bumpers, I don't think they're look as good, at least the front don't look as good as the rival one, but these are going to be less than half price of what they are. I think this roughly is going to be like 750 plus VAT or something like that. And these are going to be about 400 plus VAT, 450 plus VAT, something like that. Not 100% sure yet. The problem we've got is we're getting stuff from where these are from is the, uh, the shipping costs, because it's quite expensive and they're quite big. But if anybody wants these, let us know. We could fit them here. There's a lot of stuff to worry about with the parking sensors that even cause problems with the rival ones, which are more expensive. Um, these come with all the lights as well. Whether they're as good quality as what you can buy at stupid price. I know we, uh, we priced up some lights and just for something like that, well, ridiculous money. Uh, like 100 quid each or something stupid like that. But. The rear bumper I think looks pretty good and it comes with all the tow bar stuff and all that as well, like all the drop plate and stuff. Comes with some of these bow shackles as well. Um, we'd have to lay it all out to be sure, but Rob originally bought these to put on his car and I think he's, uh, he's double back on us now. So these, this pair's definitely for sale. If people want them, it'd probably end up being on a group buy basis maybe and sea shipment to get them a bit cheaper. So we'd have to see about that, maybe road, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, there'll be links to them, maybe, or at least prices if you want them, email us. And then the arches that we saw earlier, we've got a three litre and a two litre set still in there. Um, the other three litre set's gonna go on our truck. And yeah, they'll be for sale. I think it's, there's people selling them cheap, but the three litre ones are not available anywhere that we've seen. So tell us if we're wrong, but they'll probably be about 300 quid. Um, plus that, and the two litre ones might be a little bit cheaper, 275, something like that, but all of this here, at them sort of prices, we're not really, it's gonna cover the time and the shipping, and that's about it. So if you want them fitting, they can't be fitted for free, but we'll look after you as best we can. So yeah, hopefully at some point, all these bits end up on our car. Like I said, I've got a little bit of body work to do before I start bolting bits on ours again, so we'll see, and I best go, because the mic's gonna go off.
So, Dave's managed to get the Ute Master canopy on. I think it looks sweet, really happy with it. A bit hard to see from this angle, but you can see the roof racks, a cantilever roof rack. Everybody keeps saying, why is it like that? And that's because this gap here is big for a reason. If you put like a ton in back of this, it's gonna bend. And when you're driving, it'll be bending. So I think the few people at Amarok Owners Clubs moaning that the roof racks when they go all the way forward, they're snapping, bending and doing weird stuff. So that's why. Still, I think we get 200 kilos on there, something like that. So should be all right for what we're needing. And then yeah, the main thing that sold this to me was how easy it was to access inside of everything. You can get, we could have like a nice pallet here with some bits on and still be able to get round it. Whereas before, we only had the rear, the rear opening, which weren't going to work for us for the racing. This might still not be what we use forever, but it's what we're going to use for now. It should work out pretty good. Yeah, really happy with that. And then <clears throat> the only thing I didn't do, oh dear, nearly took my fingers off. Um, I've not got the uh, central locking option, which I don't know why. I'm not sure whether I've got offered it or not, but I wish I'd got it now. But no worse than standard anyway. So yeah, really happy. Now yeah, that's down and you can't open that. That's like that, which is good. So yeah, really, really happy. So thank you to you, Master, for sorting me a good deal out of it. Still had to pay for it. And uh, getting it here pretty quickly. Turns out the reason why we needed it quicker is because we're going to get all this wrapped. That's not happened yet. So a bit annoying. But hopefully that happens soon. And uh, yeah, very happy.